Hey guys, my name is Simsi. How are you all doing? Welcome to my third age Total War Dwarves of Khazadum campaign back on DAC AGO. The objective and challenge of today's video is to take Moria with Barlan's Expedition Force. Never played as the Dwarves of Khazadum before, but I've heard they have a, a fun and thematic quest line to get to Moria. Heaps of battles. We're probably going to be at about five or so before we arrive at Moria and try and siege it. So, if I can't complete this objective of taking Moria, I'll consider this campaign a failure. Let me know other campaigns and challenges you would like me to do in the comments. So let's quest for Moria with Barlin. I hope you guys enjoy. So we've grabbed some mercenaries in and around Dale. I don't know if we're meant to overly do that, but where is Moria? Ah, oh, there. Okay, so let's continue our way south if we can. So, there's these various um, rings we have to follow all the way to Moria. Now, we will have a dilemma in a moment, whether or not to go north or south. So, we'll have to read that one through. So, we're going to have to build up a force along the way, but getting to Moria is going to be easier said than done. So, many paths meet. So, basically, yeah, so we can go north or south. Going south is much more dangerous and harder through the forest. North takes longer, but it's a bit more safer. So, we're going to be going south. We ain't weak. <laughs> so, one, two, three, four, five, six... Seven. So there's seven rings before we get to Moria. And these can all be um, battles, I do believe. But the journey begins. We've got a huge amount in our treasury now. We've got a proper army as well, which is fantastic. Okay, let's move on south. So you don't have to be directly in the ring. It can bug out. So we'll go about here because I want to keep my movement going. So most of Barlin's wealth came from the treasure troves found in Erebor after successfully retaking the mountain. But now the High Lord Barlin and his brothers are going to go on their merry way. So what's going to happen here? Um, he can get married off. Sure, he can get a wedding. We'll, we'll, have, we'll get him married off. Oh, hang on, we've been attacked here. Oh, we've been in- Oh, we're straight into it. We've been instantly attacked. Oh, wow, we don't have time to see the enemy force. we just got to ready up. So, this is what I sort of expected. These battles to pop up. So, heading south <laughs> in Dale, Barlin found a bride. And at the wedding ceremony, orcs attacked. Of course. To spoil a dwarven marriage affair. Okay, so just make a front line. We have four units of Dwarven Traveller Archers. We've actually got some Dale and decent cavalry with us. We've got these big bad boys. Dragon Slayer Heavy Infantry. Can't wait to see how good they're going to be in this series. So it's going to be a little bit different. We played as the Elves of Lorien last time in Mordor, but this time we're going to be focusing on very heavy armoured, slow moving units with fantastic morale rather than obviously archers in that series. We went towards Rohan, had some pretty decent cavalry as well. But with Mordor, we mostly just had power in numbers. We didn't get quality infantry until quite late. So this is a Dol Guldur force. So let's push into these hunters. Really good charge there by these Knights of Dale. And we'll continue our travelers to get some shots off here as well. So our first attack on the road we seem to be holding for now. Barlin sitting back relaxing and we've got our archers just raining fire upon these orcs and goblins of the woodland realm in Mirkwood. So let's just reform them up. Yeah, so luckily we got those 
mercenaries er early on. Because we wouldn't have had cavalry in our army build whatsoever. Because we are slow moving. We're going to have to hold our positions with our, with our dwarven warriors. And then allow our archers and cavalry to do most of the work. Because these goblins, man, and orcs, they're going to be able to smash upon our front line like water on rock. They ain't going to make a dent into our units. Particularly those dragon slayers. So... We'll just run down the rest here, but already we've gotten rid of the general there, and our cavalry is working a treat. We have victory, we'll run them down, make sure that's the last of them, and a really good first fight for the expedition. Excellent stuff. So let's continue our way through the woodland realm. Now, we are the richest faction apparently, that's not unsurprising, because we're essentially a horde faction at the moment. But the marriage celebration went through, which is good. And we can't afford to lose Barlin, otherwise we probably lose the campaign. So we do have to be careful. Okay. Let's continue on through. Okay. Let's end the turn and continue. And see what other events, <laughs> battles and mishaps can uh, transpire. Yeah, because we're going through the thick of Mirkwood. You'd think we'd learn our lesson from going through last time. <laughs> but I like the challenge. Elven support arise, arrives. Oh, that's fantastic. Oh, but we've been attacked by a big stack. Okay, this one's going to be a little bit more tricky. Although we have Woodland Sentinel reinforcements, which aren't overly needed, but it's not too bad. We should be alright, but yeah, 65% in our favour, I'd say. So let's quickly form up. Let's try and do the same thing as last time. Um, unfortunately, this battle is actually quietly, quite thick and wooded in Mirkwood. By the look of it, we can't see 100 yards in front of us. So we'll send our cavalry up just to harass and agitate the Orcs of Mirkwood to attack. But we've got some Woodland Sentinels here. We've got a really nice hybrid army of men of... Uh, men of Dale. <laughs> just sell swords, dwarves. And of course, now elves. Helping us out in the forest. They must have been tracking this force. They've got a catapult! Okay, um, we've really got to actually make for that now. Because that is probably the biggest threat we have. Oh, now the trees are bugging out. Because last thing is we want is a rando fireball coming flying towards Barlin's face. Because that's it. If we lose Barlin, that's a GG, and it can sometimes happen. The AI can snipe your generals. And even if they don't, they're going to do massive damage to some of our heavier units. Those dragon uh, slayers. We definitely want to try and keep uh, as many of them alive as we can. Like, they could knock out some of our best and, and high quality units so we've managed to wrap around here and we should be able to go charging into that unit even though there's 90 which is quite a bit inside a catapult unit we've managed to knock out 50 within the initial charge thanks to the brave men of dale they have hit some heavies there so the front line is actually making its way to ours and thankfully our dwarven archers are in range along with the elves of the woodland realm Okay, so we're just holding for now, just trying to weaken them as best we can, and our front line should be fine. So we'll just continue our cavalry to just cause some may mayhem towards their rear guard, and Barlin can just chill there for now. Alrighty, so thankfully, those catapults, catapult eye. A bit Brian Blessed there. I've been neutralized. Oh, we can probably go after this light infantry. Yeah, there's like this Mirkwood goblin garbage. Oh, wow. We are just smashing them with our heavies. Oh, and Barlin's dwarvish front line has now been engaged. Hold, men. So we've got some dwarf laborers holding here. Um, those goblins have capitulated so quickly just due to the arrow fire and they are, we are smashing them because yeah most of these evil factions have the numbers which can be frightening particularly if you've been ambushed and caught 
But they just don't have the quality of. Our. Dwarvish. Dwarvish and, and men. Warriors. Especially with the equipment as well. They just don't have it. Yeah, most of it's just goblin infantry. So let's try and get out of it a bit. You know what, actually, come back to the main line because... We'd actually have a better chance... Striking maybe some of these guys. That are running back. So yeah. Even though there's still a lot of them left... It swung about to about 95% in our favour now. So it looks like we're going to be, be able to win our second battle on the road. That's what I wanted to play this campaign, because you get like a lot of battles like really early on in a campaign. They come thick and fast. So, uh, particularly if you head to the south, I think you get more battles and they're a lot harder. So it should be a lot of fun. We're not just like sort of rushing straight to Moria and we play one battle. We're probably going to get a fair few in this, which should be good. But there mustn't be many of them left here now holding. Archers are nearly out of ammunition. Both the dwarves and the sentinels. And Zun of the Mirkwood forces has gone. Cool. And let's just try and run down as many of them. Now I'm pretty sure we don't need to run them down because if we win I would imagine they capitulate because they, they were essentially spawned in. But, um, there's no harm in getting our chevrons up. Just trying to take down as many of them as possible. Because we're going to need it. Because we're not going to be able to replenish and heal up with our army at a crazy rate. So, we've got to really be careful with this full stack. And make sure we get enough chevrons just to get that added melee defense and protection. Get that experience up nice and high. But like, we're just making quick work of these goblins, just mowing them down as they leave. And there's only a couple more left. No, there's about 67 there. And hardly any in that other one. Alright, sweet. So, thank you, elves. Thanks for that. Didn't really need you, but that's fine. Hopefully we get to keep on to them. But maybe not. There's 74 trying to escape there. But man, where would we be without these cavalry units? My god. They have really saved the day with the real MVPs. Okay. Sweet. So Elven support arrives, yep. Okay, well let's continue. Westward, I guessed. I guess following the rings. Now oh, we've been blocked there by the settlement, that's annoying. Um, yeah, we can't move out. It's probably killed a turn, which is annoying, but whatever. We'll deal with it. Oh, another fight here. Oh, elves under siege. Do we assist the elvish people? They want help. Um, sure, why not? We might get to keep um those elves. We might get some lumber spread as well. Okay, wasn't expecting a defensive siege to help out. Oh wow, look at what the catapults are them. Crikey. Okay, so where do we spawn? Hi, Lord Barlin, coming in as reinforcements on a goat, I guess. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, wow. It's going to take us so long to get into the city. Because that's probably our best position to defend it from, eh? Yeah, it's sort of weird, that bug. I don't know what it is. Like, the trees flicker for a bit, and then they're fine. Must be something conflicting. But we'll just get all of our men into the town square where we can, and then... We might have to charge out. Maybe just try and harass them with our cavalry once more. So, we'll grab our cavalry and try and pull them to the right or something. Must be have something to do with the camera. Oh, it looks like the wood elves are moving out as well anyway. 
Oh, and they just took my plan from me. They're gonna sally forth. That's cool. That our allied AI is a bit intelligent like that. Because they knew that those catapults were really going to damage them. That might be their only way in. They might only have that as siege equipment. So our dwarves are going to take so long to get inside. But a siege like this, particularly defensive, if you can sort of gridlock the town square and the, the roads on in, these dwarves are basically impenetrable. It would take a lot to break those guys down. Okay, so it looks like the catapults have gone. We might not even need to go over there. <laughs> The elves are running through. Another Dolguldur force. This is our third. So there's more infantry and stuff further at the back, which you have to watch out for. But it's only just now that our dwarves and our infantry reinforcements have made it into the town square. We'll move them in there. We'll give them a breather. And then, if we need to continue to go further up, we will. So here we go, We've got some Dolgul the host there. Those guys look menacing. Um, I'm trying to think what we should target because... Oh, hang on. Ah, you're getting a little bit close to me. Yeah, medium Mirkwood Eurox would be a little hard to pin down. We don't want to hit that. We need to pick a target. Is that archers over here? Yep, go for them. Go headstrong into these boys. Oh! Victory? Wait, what? Somehow, I guess the Wood Elves claim victory, but... I want to try and run these guys down. It doesn't look like... They've actually won, though, because there's a lot of units inside. We can't... Like, they're not retreating. Okay. Well, we'll move on up here. Maybe we're just better off to leave, because then we technically win. Why did that come up? Yeah, so if I quit, yeah, <laughs> I get bugged. So we we won the defensive siege with little effort, which is good. Yeah, I don't know why they, why did they, why did that battle end? It must have, because it, it, we were coming in as an allied reinforcement. Somehow they won. Yeah, there's no point of playing that last bit. Siege broken. A great victory has been won in Mirkwood. Oh, our force, oh, our injured soldiers have been healed, and they've given us three thousand gold. Oh, that's fantastic. Even though we really didn't do much. 11% of allied forces were lost. But we're still making our way to Moria. Come on, come on. Yeah, so within five turns, we've had three pretty fun and enjoyable battles. Which is a nice change. Oh, we've got another one here. Stand Stand okay. So, similar thing. A snowy one now. Winter has hit the woodland realm. Oh, what's this? Oh, spiders. Oh, I hate spiders. Great black spiders. We'll make sure to get all my archers to focus on them. They're a heavy cavalry unit. Really? For 25. Okay, let's hit them, because from what I can remember, sometimes spiders can really pack a punch. So we managed to hit their general, which is good. They are really rushing on in. Oh, they're hitting my... Oh, they are... Wow, I didn't believe how quick they were. Get everyone in just to fly on in. Azog on a spider. 7%? We're struggling to beat them down a little bit, these godforsaken spiders. Wow, that was a close one. We lost a, a fair bit of men in that one, actually. Okay, so now we've hit uh, Bjorn's Hall. Oh, there he is. We are in touching distance of Moria now. We've crossed the river westward. And we're at another ring. It's only a couple turns now before we reach it. I wonder now that we're closer to the mountains, will we get a different enemy to fight? Yeah, Shagarag Rad of the Misty Mountains has attacked us. Yeah, because it would be a bit strange if we were still being pursued by Mirkwood forces. So we've got some Mountain Orc Hunters coming at us. Okay. So we can probably auto-resolve that one. 
We actually have a choice to fight that. Maybe we just go... Hang on. Maybe... We... Hmm. Yeah, so I guess we just can auto-resolve it. Okay. <laughs> we'll continue south. Um, that way is probably the play. Like across the bottom of the mountain. Alright. Moria has been reached. Okay. About time. Because the expedition is running out of money. So I guess we have to wait here and kill a turn? Yeah. Eastern infestation. And some diplomatic information has changed. Right, I just didn't want to attack it. I wanted to wait a turn before we go on in. Alright, let's build some siege equipment up before we can take Kazadum. Or Kazadum. However you say it. Okay, so... Pretty decent army inside. There seems to be another one there. And then we've got the western hallway. Okay, the siege equipment has been built. Let's have the battle for Moria. Yaglug, the conqueror of Moria. Guardian of Moria. Has a pretty decent mountain. Uruks inside. Got some heavy goblin halberds as well. We do outnumber them slightly. That should be a good one. Let's go. Okay, I haven't played the Siege of Moria in quite some time, so we actually didn't need any of that Siege equipment. It's always good to get it, just in case. So we have to fight our way through the narrow tomb here. And let's fix things up. So, oh, is that what the Dwarvish Siege equipment actually looks like? Oh, it looks really cool. Properly heavily armoured. Looks like it's got a bunch of... Looks like a bunch of sheet metal, to be honest. <laughs> but, looks alright. Okay, so let's get all our infantry up. Um, we don't have those elves anymore. I guess they left us. As we went westward and crossed the river. Okay, so we have four units of archers. Most of my army is made up of infantry. They don't have the highest melee attack. So, we'll see how we go. Getting into Moria. I want to try and get in there quick enough so we can create some space for my archers to get their shots off. Because if not, it's just going to be a... A bloody and brutal affair. Trying to push through and progress through the narrow corridors of Moria. With our small dwarf boys. Okay, why is the camera really bugging out here? Come on, mate. Right. Alright, <laughs> sweet. Yeah, I don't know if my cavalry's going to be any use. Just depends if they can find a flanking position. But there's one way in to this tomb. Only one way out. Oh, got to watch out for those Uruks there. Bunch of goblins further the back. As I can see here. Oh, we've got some armoured wags by the look of it. Frightening. I haven't seen an armoured wag in so long. There must be a reforged unit, I think. Oh, hang on, my cavalry didn't get quick, up, quick enough up there. You have to pull them back. Send in the infantry against the goblin bodyguard, which are going to hit us first. Get my archers to start, if they can, hit the goblin force at the back. But fierce fighting has broken out in the halls of Moria. 65-70% in my favour, but Balan has his first real problem. This is probably the, the hardest units that we've fought in this. And once we take the eastern wing, hopefully, get rid of this eastern infestation, we can push for the west, and then we'll bring Moria back under Balan con Balan's control. We lost 3% of their 3. Okay. It was nearly 2. So I was like, ugh. you got to keep an eye on the casualties and sustained and inflicted in battles. Particularly when it gets grindy like this. There isn't really too much tactical innovation going on. It's just whoever can push and grind their way on through. Hopefully, we can be victorious. We've got the morale. We've got the hearty spirit. But... Is going to be a little bit hard, particularly just pushing through 
heavily armoured and positioned halberds there. So let's try and get Barlin up to help out as well. My archers are getting their shots off, but I just don't know how effective they are. It might be worth trying to move up my cavalry, trying to make a play, but we'll just have to see how we go. Seven to nine, so we are losing a fair bit, but the tick rate is when we lose seven, they lose ten, so it's a three percent sway in our favor, so we will be fine. Morale-wise and, 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 and units-wise, we should be able to grind it out. They're moving Snagger skirmishes up here. Okay, so... Sometimes when there's a little bit of space, when you're fighting super narrow like this, you can get some units to wrap around. Now, because if you technically hit them from the side, they get an additional penalty pushing in. It's like the surrounding penalty. So if you can just go around, maybe sometimes like you can trick a couple units to actually get fully behind them to wrap around. So just try and angle them like that. We don't want all them, but yeah. Just diversify your shots. And this 1% movement like this can sometimes break them on through. There we go, that's what I'm talking about. And we'll try and do the same with you. Yeah, hit them from the side. Good. We might be progressing just slightly better. Ideally, you can do that with cavalry, but we'll see how we go. Alright. Getting stuck into those heavy goblins. Oh, we got some RNG there. That's massive. Yuglug, the Conqueror of Moria. And he had that trait. We haven't found Azog. I don't know if he's in this. I don't think he is. 23 to 26, so... Uh, maybe I'm overhyping that flank. Because it's still a 3% sway by the look of it. They just seem to be set in there like cement. Yeah, just continue to get my archers to go. We might use my cavalry. Yeah, try and get my cavalry around. You never know. Sometimes if you force it, you might be able to break away. We need to stop those archers hitting me, because that's what that's what's probably doing a lot of the damage. Well, probably at least half. You'd think. I think we're going to win this, but it's just a matter of how many dwarf boys we lose. Because we will need an army to take the western wing, and we've also got to hold this position in our newly conquered territory. So it's a bit of a mission, it takes a bit to actually take Moria. Not just spawning there, but I quite like this expedition. It's a lot of fun. Let me know if you've gone north in your playthrough. Like, what are the, the twists and changes? Like, obviously we had to do a defensive dwarven siege. Maybe you fight... Just like... I don't know, what would it be? Like, white orcs, maybe? Like, snow orcs up there? Okay, so now we're hitting. We're hitting our way through. Come on, cavalry. Put, like... Uh, I was like, yeah, maybe they can... Well, they've stopped those archers shooting, so that's not a bad idea, but they're taking a bit. It's like, sometimes you can force them through this gap. We might be able to get behind them. No, it's not really working. At least we stopped those archers from shooting. We've initiated the countdown there, which is something. They're mostly shaken. Oh, no, they're fine. They're a bit back and forth. 39 to 73. We will be able to claim victory, but it's going to be a close one. Oh, my cavalry might be able to get through. Come on. Get past these goblin archers. And then, like, hit them. Because that might be GG for them. 41%. Crikey. It is a little bit difficult to take Moria. Bit of a grind. We didn't have any artillery either. Which would have been useful. But we are going to claim victory. But at a cost. Okay, High Lord Balan of 
Khazad Doom has taken the huge city. Or exterminate the populace, because <laughs> there's a bunch of gobos in there. But a new seat of power. We've cemented our capital here. 14 turns in. The Misty Mountains have been reached. Alright, and let's uh, re replenish and repair if we can. We want to push westward now. Uh, candidate for adoption, we'll accept that. Because we haven't got his family members. Oin in. Um, yet. And we also want to try and adopt as many as we can. Um, okay. Ori's a diplomat. Okay. And we have... Yeah, Oin is a general. Ori is a diplomat apparently. Okay. Well, he's been brought in. Another general spawning. Why not? I think they were traits anyway. Oh, hang on. What's this? So, we've attacked that. Azog the Defilers. Okay. Azog's Defilers, right. A war unit. And then there's the High Chief there. I think we might play this one. Yeah, sure. Oh, wow. This is really hard to see. I'm going to have to put the brightness up. I might even have to do some editing. Because they're just super hard to see this. So... There seems to be a little bit of space between the east and western wing in the center. Well, I guess it would be the central corridors if it's the left and right, or <laughs> east and west. So to make our way through, we can draw out the garrison on the inside there. So we can't seem to deploy that well here, which is annoying. We might have to do it ungrouped and a bit at a time. There we go. So we're going to have to do something like this. Man, it's so hard to see and particularly navigate through these ancient dwarven pillars. So we'll form things up and then we'll just try and progress where we can. Okay. Um, we've got cavalry in here. Cavalry! Cavalry! In a mine! A mine! <laughs> You'd think the horses would get spooked. They wouldn't be hanging out in Moria. Maybe they're sturdy mules or something, I don't know. Do the dwarves ride, ride goats? Maybe they would swap them out. Okay, so they have a ballista which is annoying. And they have those defiler wag units, which can be difficult. Okay, so we'll just try and move our way up slowly. This is going to be a tough one. Going to be really hard to navigate this. Yeah, I might have to put the brightness or something. Because I can't imagine you guys can really see what's going on. So if I go brightness to 100, that should change it a bit. And you know what? What I'll do in the editing process of this video, I might actually go into some settings and see if there's like a contrast and, and brightness setting just so you guys can see what's going on because I can see quite fine but I feel like once it gets compressed to absolute buggery on YouTube you guys might not be able to see the action so we're engaging one force here my cavalry is trying to make a play on the left we'll try and hit these Azog Defiler units but I'm actually quite impressed of the enormity of this battle map like the amount of pillars that are here it's actually kind of insane we're gonna have to give out individual attack orders with some of our guys oh those ballista are hitting me that's annoying Our men are winning the battle. okay those defile units are really ripping through us it's actually swung back to about 50 50 now this is gonna be a close one oh no <laughs> oh no 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 hopefully we can pull it off we still need to keep Balan alive. I'll consider this video a fail failure if we lose him. Oh, this ballista. 1822, so we're still edging it slightly. But, I think we'll be alright. Also, let me know in the comments other videos and challenges like we do so I can get 
prepared and organized. Pick a total war, pick a faction, and pick a challenge slash objective. Okay. Because I'm thoroughly enjoying these sort of one-off videos. I don't mind the, oca the occasional series, but you guys seem to be enjoying it as well, which is good. And I'm having a lot of fun as well. Picking a theme and objective for a, a video and then doing it in one. And then moving on to something else. 23-33. Okay, those guys are routing on the left, which is good. My god, it's just so hard to see in this damn mine! The amount of noise and clatter and clunking we're making up here. We're going to be able to awaken a Balrog if we're not careful. That can happen. Um, wasn't that in Third Age that, depending on events, like a Balrog can spawn? Is that in DAC? I'd assume it must be. It must be an event. DAC AGO. Okay. So speed things up. My arch is getting caught. It's just so hard to see when we're getting actually flanked. Thirty-two to forty-seven. It's these Bloom and Wag units that are really holding on. Azog's defilers on walk horseback. Horseback, walk back, whatever. They function as a cavalry unit. I tend to role play as much as I can, but sometimes it's a bit of it. Only half the enemy force remains. A trick of the tongue. Because <laughs> I guess it's like when you play as Gondor and Rohan, you're playing as men. I think I did it in my old series. Oh, okay, that was a good battle. For example, we lost 400 men, but they're technically elves, I guess. Oh, here we go. Managed to get their captain. Wasn't their faction another one of their faction leaders or something? God, these defilers, man! I think I routed one of my archer units. 36 still in this heavy cavalry. They are still absolutely wrecking shop. We've nearly decimated our full stack. That's why you've got to be careful <laughs> fighting um, before Moria. You want to try and keep as many of them as you can. Yeah. I wonder if it is more advantageous. Like, what are the differences? Let me know in the comments. People have played Dwarves, the Dwarves of Khazadum, and have either gone south or north. I'm just, uh, I'm just kind of curious. I think we did all right. Just when we arrived in these sieges, it took a bit. Like, do you actually fight more... Battles in the south or in the north? It's mostly just the opposition. We've got some Kazadum Reclaimers. This is the new unit that spawned when we took Moria. And they should make quick work against these mountain Uruks. Or it might be a good challenge, actually. They're probably a s now thinking about it. They're probably a on par unit. Those defilers are now pushing back and we've whittled them down a lot more. But what a fight here in the central corridor. A lot of fun. Bit different. Luckily we don't have to siege the west because it might have even been a similar story to when we hit Moria from the east, like attacking the west. Like it might be just really narrow and funneled in. But yeah, those reclaimers are not doing too well against the Uruks. They're basically on par. They're trading quite heavily. So we'll try and flank them with our other units there. Barlin's guards now coming into it. 98 to 55 percent. We've retaken Moria, but it's at a cost. Oh, enemy general, good. Okay, so the high chieftain of the gobos, the goblins, is gone, and now we destroyed that there, so we can take their goblin capital. Kazadum West is now firmly back under our control. And that should be the last of the snow, the smoke, snoke, 
<laughs> Commander Snoke. <laughs> no. The last of the smoke pluming from the mountain. Of course, sir. Let's end the turn just to see if there's any other negotiations. See if anything pops up. We should be able to start making our money back as well. So, Western Moria has been cleared. Silvertine walls. We finally cleaned the upper walls. Yeah, because that turns into the Silvertine settlement. Uh, war and wizards. Okay, we brought shame to all that have doubted us. And some faction announcements there. Uh, Oin, 30 years of age. Fantastic commander. A mithril ring he has. Um... But yeah, Moria is now under our control. Um, Alright, well, I've played for a fair few hours here today, and I should be able to edit this video down. But yeah, we've completed the objective and challenge I wanted to do here today. I wanted to go through Barlin's Expedition quest line. Um, we could do another video of actually conquering in and around the Misting Mountains, but I don't know, I, I feel like you want to try and reclaim Moria. That was fun. We played, what, five? Five or six battles on our way, and I think we'll move on to something else. Maybe playing as the High Elves, I don't know, maybe playing as Dol Guldur, one of the evil factions. We haven't even played as Dol Amroth or the Numenorians, so maybe we can move on to something else. So yeah, let me know in the comments, a game slash mod, a faction, and then a, a sort of an, an objective or challenge. But thank you very much for watching Barlin's quest for Moria. His expedition to reclaim Khazadun. We were successful. Took us a bit. <laughs> we had to go through the crazy wild and thicket of Mirkwood, but we managed to make it through and Barlin was unscathed. Now he can sort of hang out in his mountain home. Well, until the goblins come back eventually because that's happening in, in the story. <laughs> so, we've taken... Moria, thanks for watching. I'm going to play the outro now. Goodbye. Unfortunately, it's time to end the video here. Thank you very much for watching. Check out my social media links in the description below if you'd like to stay connected with me. Let me know feedback and suggestions for the video. Got to say a huge thank you to my patrons and channel members. Victor K, Sebastian C, Jordan K, Caesar L, Brian S, Tal, Liam B, Kyle P, Tom C and Wyatt P. But thanks guys, my name is Ben Simsy. Much love from Australia. Goodbye.